Hello, we are now in week four. I say congratulations to all for making it to this last week. The topic for this week is writing an online content using OER. Now, who is facilitating this course for this week? It's still with me, Professor Oraja J. Juliet in the video. Now, for this week, we have some learning outcomes we need to achieve. By the end of the week, you will be able to match OER content with the course table of specification, and you will be able to write presentable online content with a lowest type for easy understanding. And finally, you'll be able to review an online content. Now, let's get started. In week one, we are looking at matching OER content with the plan. And here we want to look at um, the introduction quickly. Here in matching the OER with the plan, we're going to be working with the key content. And working with the key content, it means the key content you would have had, the topics or the team that you want to work on under the key content. I remember at the time you were working on resources, you identify some open educational resources as well that will serve as your resources. And this is where you now integrate them into the key content. Where do you want it to appear within the key content? So you have to put them under the heading where they will appear. Now, why using OER or embedding OER into in, in your writing? There are certain things you need to consider. What are these things? First, provide a link to direct learners to the website to read the content, because that might be what you want to do. As you are writing, all you need to do is to put a link where they click on the link, it takes them to where the resource is on the site. There you can decide to integrate the content into the digital learning environment as well. Like if you have your learning management system, you can decide to import it and put it there where they can easily read it, that as they are walking along, they'll be reading it along as well. So depending on how you want to, but when you do that, ensure that you put the appropriate licenses. The attribution must be there. Then you can embed the OER content or illustration or video or uh, the, depending on the type of media you want to use that you have as OER that you have identified. But the attribution is very, very important. Give appropriate attribution. Then thirdly, the lastly there, the fourth one is that almost adapt the OER in some parts. There are times you need to adapt the OER. You are not using it as a whole because maybe in that material you are working on, it is not everything that you will need the OER you found. Maybe it's just a unit of it or a topic of it. So in that case, you are going to adapt it in. But while you are doing this, ensure that the only the topic related topic that you are putting it in. So you can use it as a part or as a whole. But when you are using it as a whole, I think within a material, I recommend that you use it as a further reading material or under references. With that, it will be easy for us. So what to note when integrating OER into your content? What are these things you should note? There must be leading sentence or paragraph to the content. You don't just bring the content and drop there, illustration and drop there, the media and drop there. You would have made some statement. You would have been coming with a flow of statements before you integrate the OER. And you give a direction of what they need to do with that material you are integrating. Then to test the understanding of the content, you want to know these learners have they really understood what you have put there for them. What do you do? You could develop exercises, activities, from the OER, this will encourage them to go back and read. Then where you need to reference the source or author, appropriate references must be given. You must give the appropriate references. They never write as if the OER is your own idea, no. Now in summary, there are different ways you can manage OER with content. This can be by embedding the OER as a whole or integrate a part of it, but with appropriate referencing and recognition of the author. When you do this, 
then you are good to go with your writing in using the open educational resources. Thank you for listening.